Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use DAX Studio to see or monitor or profile all the queries that are being sent to your Power Pivot model in Excel. Stay tuned. If you're finding this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the video from both Adam and myself. All right, so monitoring Excel. I thought it did Power BI. Look, man, data is data, right? There's data models in Excel, there's data models in Power BI, and somebody asked us on a live stream, they were like, hey, how do I see the queries that's coming through that's being sent to my Power Pivot model in Excel? And I was like, use DAX Studio. And he was like, can you show me? It's like, I'm gonna do a video on it. This would be a cool video, right? So leaving Power BI just a little bit to come talk about some Excel, but it's all data, okay? So enough of all this talking. You guys know all I like to do. Let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. All right, so let's say you design this data model inside of Excel, this Power Pivot data model in Excel, and you wanna monitor the queries that's coming through. Well, all you need to do is click on add-ins in the ribbon and click on DAX Studio. Wait. Patrick, I don't see that adding. So when you walk through the install for DAX Studio, there's an option that says Excel add-in. You gotta be sure you check it when you do the install. Just fire it back up and get it, run it, uh, run through the installer. And I guarantee you, when you close Excel and open it back up, that add-in should be there, okay? And you should be running the latest version of DAX Studio. I think it's like uh, 2.12.2, .2. you know, get that version, okay? All right, back to my laptop. So once you have that, uh, once that appears in your, your add-ins, right, you, you'll see the icon for DAX Studio. Go ahead and click it. Once you click it, the magic's gonna happen. DAX Studio is gonna open up and it's gonna automatically select Power Pivot Model and you'll see the name of that workbook. Go ahead and click Connect. When you click connect, right, you'll see established connection, you'll see your, your model here, and you're ready to go. All you need to do is in the ribbon, make sure you choose home and click all queries. When you click all queries, you click on the output tab if it's not already selected and you'll see where it says query trace started. Okay, now you're ready to go. Click on all queries, click the new tab for all queries and it's blank. Go back to your Power Pivot model, go back to Excel, and if you have a slicer on the page, right, all you need to do is click it. So let's do this first. Let's go ahead and snap this to one side, choose DAX Studio so we can watch all the magic happen, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose France. So if I click France, right, there's the queries, right? That's one way. But Patrick, what if I don't have a slicer? Don't worry, right? Click on one of the elements. If you don't have a slicer on your page, click on one of the elements, open up the pivot chart fields, Look at the bottom, you'll see where it says defer layout. Go ahead and check that box. Come on. And then you'll see this update button. Go ahead and click update. So you'll see I have one, two, three, four, five, five queries. If I click update, come on, you'll see the six query come through, right? There's another query. So you can do that for each element if you're looking at a particular element, all right? Once you have everything you want, you can pause the trace, you can stop the trace, okay? You can clear everything out. If I click that, it'll clear everything out. If I click on this one, right, it'll export the trace details out. If I wanna use a filter, I can just click this, some new boxes will appear. I can choose the type of query I want. If I wanna filter by duration, maybe I'm only interested in queries that are greater than three seconds. If I go ahead and put that in, right, you can see it's only showing me queries that are greater than three seconds. Um, I can choose users. I can do lots of different things here. I can sort this. Maybe I wanna see which one is the slowest query. I can just click this and it sorts it out. If I double click here, yeah, you may not be familiar with this language, it's called MDX, multi-dimensional expressions. You know, not important in this video, way beyond the scope, but if you wanna learn it, you can go look it up. It's for SQL Server Analysis Services multi-dimensional models. That's just way out of the scope of this video. We're just looking for slow queries. We found a query. You can kind of take a look and see, you know, what's going on here. This is just looking at that product sub subcategory. Anyway, right? You can clear this out. If I click here to clear everything out, if I click here, I can copy everything, um, all the, the queries up to the window. Okay, what do you guys think? You got any questions, comments? Have you done this? Maybe this will help, maybe this won't. Let me know, you know what to do. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. It's your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel. 
hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.